Today we are making a new jeans tote bag, a light stick, a Powerpuff Girls blanket throw thing, and the Charles Jeffrey lover boy bunny hair. So by today, I mean... <laughs> I have to have this all done within 28 days, which sounds like a lot, but I started the bag yesterday. I worked on this for hours and this is how far I got. So, because it is my friend's birthday last month, last month, next month. I was super appreciative for my birthday. I even still have the birthday balloon. It's technically day two today because I started yesterday. As per usual, we're starting with the easiest first. So, the tote bag. And by easy, I mean like the fastest. It's not easy. No grid crochet is easy, but this also required less thinking because I'm using grids that someone already made. Credit to them. For the power puff blanket thing, I'm gonna have to make my own grid though, kind of. So I'll show you how I do that later. But for the tote bag, I'm using these two grids. For this bunny though, it's very much off center, so I wanted to make it centered more. So I'm doing it slightly different. I added nine extra stitches to one side and took off nine from the ear side. I'm scared this is gonna look scary. And since this is gonna be used, I don't want the back to be a tangled mess like my previous grids that I've done. And I've been doing a pretty good job so far. If you can see, this is the front and this is the back. I don't have very many strings going across. I do have a couple because I got a little lazy last night. I do not have any techniques for not getting tangled because I... <laughs> okay, so how you follow grid patterns, if you don't already know, is each row is a row. <laughs> I also did an extra row below here just to have a little bit more some some. Now, how to keep it more neat is a whole nother thing because we don't want a lot of these in it. Actually, we don't want any of it. I was just being lazy. When you have a whole bunch of one color and then a little bit of a color you need to start a new color every time so like I have multiple strings going one blue string that I can switch to for this blue chunk I have just been carrying my white through you can't really see it through the blue wall well, in some places but it's fine I was lazy but if you can see especially if your stitches aren't super tight you can see colors running through if you carry them over. If I were to carry blue through here, you would see it pretty obviously. It's looking pretty good so far. It's not very messy, which is nice. And it's also not as tangled as I thought it would be because I keep having to cut strings to get more string from here. Day one is almost over and I finished the first panel. Oh, it looks so nice. It's so big though, I feel like. I mean, it has to be big to fit the blanket, so I guess why not? I can think of reasons why because I am I don't have enough time. Now I'm gonna do this on the other side. I'm actually gonna stick with the colors that are on here, but this is 36 by 34, so I'm just gonna add to all the sides. This, I kept adding extra on the top and the bottom just to like square it. I believe it's 54 stitches by 55 rows, even though it's shorter than it is wide. I thought single crochets were square, but I suppose not. Maybe I just can't see anymore. I'm blind from doing this. This one should be, I don't wanna jinx anything. This one should be a lot easier just because there's a lot of rows of just white. Hopefully they end up the same size because my white yarn is thicker than my navy yarn by like a lot. I hate that. These are supposed to be the same width so stupid yeah i just counted this to make sure i have my math wrong anyway but <laughs> turns out this is 40 by 40 it's the actual picture that is 36 by 34 so i will add seven on both the tops and the sides math i am soaking wet and cold but i got more yarn which is also very wet. Why did I put that on my bed? Ew. I could open up my own store at this point. But good news is I actually have 10 more days than I thought because I had Geraldine's birthday wrong. <laughs> Still gonna be a little crazy though, I think. I finished it. I think the both sides are very nice. Since I'm still attached here, I'm just gonna crochet around the sides to attach them. Right sides facing each other. Also, I can pick up these strings as I go and weave them in. So then the only strings I have to weave in are the middle, middle strings. I finished crocheting them together and it looks really nice with the white border on it. So I kind of wish I did it on the outside, but the other side doesn't look any nicer that way so it's fine I'm gonna ignore all these for now we will do that 
at the very last possible second. Here it is, super cute. I just have to figure out where to put the handles. I definitely want it to be like over the shoulder straps. I feel like they should be in the middle-ish. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, cause this tote bag that I have is kind of the same. I feel like I want the straps longer than that. This length. Where is my measuring tape? I want it to be about like 36 inches long. I also don't want it to like be too stretchy. So I'm going to use my smallest hook, which is 2.75. So it's very tightly woven. Or maybe I'll do one strap white, one strap navy. That sounds good. But I was just thinking like the white will get dirty, but like this whole thing's white. So it would make more sense to make a gauge rather than just like chaining to 36 inches because my chains are never representative of the length that the final product's actually going to be. But I feel like I'm chaining this pretty loose. So I think I will just chain till it's 36. And if it ends up being less than 36, that's better than it being more than 36 inches because over time this is going to stretch anyway. That being said, I think I'm going to make it even shorter because this chain is like 27 inches, but when I put it over and like pull it, it's already pretty long. So I think I'm going to stick with this. This is because I'm stretching and it's getting longer, but this is around 27 inches and 88 chains. All right, I have both of my straps. I'm gonna sew them a few stitches in on both sides, the blue on the white side and the white on the blue side. And there we have it, folks, our first um, thingamajigger. I did five, like five or six rows for the straps and they came to one and three quarters of an inch. Just in case you were wondering. <laughs> now, of course, before I weave in any ends, it's time to move on to the next thing, which is super difficult because it's basically this, but harder. Or maybe not harder, but more. So basically I took a screenshot of the last part of the Super Shy music video because I noticed on this bunny's chair they have this blanket thing. I don't know what it is, it actually looks more like the material that my yoga mat is made out of, but it's whatever. This is already a grid, so I was like, I'm gonna make that. What I'm doing is I'm using Stitch Fiddle and I just have this picture here and I'm making my own grid so that it's easier to follow because this is obviously like some folds and wrinkles in it. Plus it's not real, so it's not necessarily going to be a proper grid. This alone took me probably an hour. So <laughs> I'm gonna do each thing separately. This is, who is this? Heyin, the youngest, I believe. I'm using stitchfiddle.com. These first two will be super easy because it's all there, but for the other ones, I'm gonna have to make them up myself. Which mm, is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so I did the one half and then I've started doing the second half. I thought it'd be super easy, but it's so confusing doing like it in the opposite. So I figured out this and I had to pay for this, but I think it'll be worth it. I bought a one month subscription for this. So I went like this to the... No. Ah! I just took this part to there and then I copied it. And then if you right click on this side, you can paste it and then it's the wrong way around. But then what do you do? What do I do? You select this part again and then you mirror it and to dir But I do need to add more rows before I do that. So I'll undo all of that and then add. And you can just add rows to this. I am impressed with both myself and this software. I don't know if I like that. It looks a little spoopy, but um, I think the only thing I have to do now is add in, there's like a little hair piece here. Well, it's hard to see, so I'm just gonna have to wing it. Okay, I gotta figure it. I played around with her hair a little bit because her hair is tied up, so it's not on this side. So get rid of that. And then I did the little piece hanging down here, and I think it looks pretty, pretty good. I'm so happy that she saved me like probably an hour. <laughs> Nice. So I was going to start the blanket, but this just came in. So fancy. Smells so good for once. I wasn't expecting this, but these are expensive knitting needles. But YOLO, right? I'm a professional now. Oh, they're so pretty. And I've never used bamboo before, so I hope they're nice to work with. Ooh, I got these because I got these so that I could make the hat because I needed smaller, I needed it to be smaller. Cause my knitting needles, the cord on them is a lot and I'm gonna be knitting the hat in the round and I don't wanna stretch out the stitches. Can you see these? Ah, they still didn't come with anything. Whoa, what's going on here? Why would you need, 
Why does that do that? I don't understand. Yeah. All right, I got them put together. So we're doing the Charles Jeffrey hat in purple because Jardine loves purple and we love Jardine. So we're gonna make, whoa. But why do I have such thick needles if I'm using, cause I'm making it chunky. I'm gonna do two strands at once, which like I just started knitting. So I don't know why I'm making it more difficult on myself. But if you watched my G Idol allergy hat video, you'll know that I vowed to never ever use the teeny tiny needles again because it killed my hands and it took forever. So I'm gonna try to knit this chunky and see if that works. I'm using eight millimeter needles. I think I might have to go down to like at least a seven, maybe a six, but I wanna try to get away with as big of needles as possible so that this will take the least amount of time because time is not on our side. Lego. Okay, so I just started my swatch and it's obviously obvious that I will need to go down a couple sizes. So I'm gonna switch to sixes and then restart my swatch. It's still not quite. I'm gonna go down one more size, five millimeter. All right, so I did my little swatchy swatch. I know this isn't really long enough to actually figure out, but it's 20 stitches and it's five inches long. So if I want to get to 20 inches, cause my head is 22 inches. I don't know what size Geraldine's head is. And I don't think that's something you can subtly ask someone. And since it's a rib stitch, it's a one by one rib stitch. I'm going down, what am I? I can't even talk today. I would rather do too small than too big it's gonna be very stretchy. So I'm gonna do 20 inches. If 20 stitches is five inches, I need to just times the stitches by four, correct? That's really simple math. So if I'm wrong, that'll be embarrassing. So four times 20 is 80. So I need to cast on 80 stitches. Fun times, but it's a lot better than 140, so. So I just went around and around till I got this nice tubular shape. Very nice and long, because we need to be able to fold it over like this. And try it. Feels weird wearing someone else's hat, but like, my hair is clean. This is very thick. The Charles Jeffrey hat says chunky, but this, this is chunky. And the shaping of the Charles Jeffrey uh, hats are weird. They have exposed seams. So they're like inside out looking. So I guess I'll just do that. And it looks like from here, I'm going to separate all my stitches into quarters. And then I'm gonna finish them up in quarters because it looks like in the front, our, all our decreasing is happening on these two sides of these, I guess, triangles that I'm gonna be making. And then it looks like the decreasing happens there, but it looks like the decreasing isn't really happening on this side. As far as I can tell, I'm new to knitting, so I'm probably maybe wrong. And this is all experimental, so. Okay, so I transferred 20 stitches. It's very convenient that I did 80 stitches because now divide that by four is 20 stitches. So I'm gonna need four 20 stitches pieces. So I transferred my first 20 stitches onto my other hooks that are also, these are 5.5. I thought it was, I was using six. These are 5.5. So I have other 5.5 needles. If you don't have other needles, I don't really know what to tell you. And I would suggest getting like little needles. I would like some of those, but I just spent so much money on these and I don't even know if I like them. I've decided this is going to be my sides. So then I won't decrease on these, but I will decrease on this. Probably every other row because we're not really at the crown of the head yet. So I feel like we still need ways to go. Okay, so I finished that and gassed it off. It looks ridiculous, but hopefully, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I don't have to redo this. I really don't want to. So I'll do the other four or the other three and we'll see. Once I get to the last three on here, then I swap this over to the back just like normal. And then I just take this stitch. This is one stitch. It's just because I doubled up on the yarn. Slip it over and then I knit these two together very awkwardly like so Dur. and then oops hello and then this one that i had slipped over i just kind of slipped that over that like cast it off kind of thing and i don't know it's been going pretty neatly so that's the way that i found works the best and that gets rid of two stitches at a time so keep that in mind <laughs> It looks like a jester's hat. Trust the process. I'm going to stitch this all together. In this picture here, it's all very round. Like I'm just gonna stitch over and over with the double strands again to give it that look. And also I didn't really realize I should have decreased a little bit on both of these sides just so that it's not like a little triangle sticking out. Am I redoing it? No, I'm just going to stitch over it to round it off. Okay, as expected, 
Houston, we're experiencing difficulties. <laughs> we have three options. Just do this, stick the ears on here, and the ears will flop them back, and it won't be as obvious. Option two, you can turn it inside out, which is technically right side out because these hats are inside out for some reason. And then these pieces can like stab her in the head. Option number three is to redo it. I don't know. I mean, technically since it's a gift, I should make it right. So I should redo it. But honestly, I don't even know if she'll like this inside out look anyway, cause I don't really like it. Charles Jeffrey. <laughs> I sewed like half of it already too. Oh, I sewed like three quarters of it at least. <sighs> Why don't I just redo it when I had the chance? When I knew what was gonna happen. Why does everything suck? Okay, I just realized that I might've just sewed it wrong. Like maybe I'm supposed to sew it all the way up here like this, maybe. Okay, so I'm kind of not feeling like I'm Raveling this right now and dealing with that. So I decided to move on to the plushie. I was at first going to make the, the binky bong like light stick, but now I think I'm just gonna make the head of it as a little plushie. Maybe around like this size. Hopefully everything is gonna fit in this bag. I'm glad I made it pretty big. So I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook because I want it to be pretty tight so none of the stuffing pokes through. And then I'm going to make an oval. So I chained eight and now I'm going to basically basically work around it, but doing four in each side. So I'll do two single crochet in the first stitch. Oh, this is hard to work with. Oh, wow. Then single crochet in each stitch across till you get to the last one. And then you will single crochet four in the last stitch. And then you're working around in the oval. So you turn it over and then continue to do one in each of these guys. I'm struggling, but it's getting easier. So it's fine. Ah, well, it's kind of holy. I might have to redo my chain and do it tighter. <sighs> more work already than I thought it was gonna be, but it's gonna be so soft. Okay, and then in the last stitch, we're gonna do two more single crochet to make it the four single crochet, the same as the other side. And I have a big hole in here, so I'm gonna have to redo it all. The chain was too loose, but that's the idea. And then I'm just gonna work rounds around that. I don't know how many increases I'll have to do. Maybe just an increase at every corner. So an increase in this stitch and an increase in that stitch, I think. I don't know. Okay, so I was wrong about the oval because this is going this shape. And then I was like, it's fine. I'll just make it this size. But then I was like, no, I wanted at least like a cuddly size. So I'm going to get rid of all my hard work. So apparently instead of just increasing like at the corners, you increase all the way around. So the first row was right. So we're going all the way back there. The second row, you increase in all four stitches on either end. So... I shall do that. Is this the beginning or is that the second? It's so hard to tell with this. Now I'm gonna increase in both these two stitches, single crochet across, then increase in one, two, three, four stitches, single crochet across, increase, increase. And then the row after that will be eight increases on either end. And I think so on and so forth. Though the video I just watched said it'll be eight increases every row from then, but I don't understand how that works. And they were also talking about like, I don't know, I'm gonna try to keep it simple. I'm hoping it's big enough after the three or four rounds that I don't have to worry about that. So this is the size that I have. I didn't do it right. It's a bit floppy and if it's floppy it means you increase too much. So I increased too much. But instead of going back to fix it, I think I'm just gonna start my regular single crochet rounds and see what size it ends up. Because if I did it right, it'd be flat and I would know that this would be the circumference of it, but it wouldn't get any bigger than this. But since it's a bit floppy, it might come out like a couple more inches, which is fine because I think that's a good cuddly size. All right, so I got it to about this size. I've turned it inside out now because I have slip stitched the middle of this part together so that we could start doing the little ears. And to do that, I just made sure that there was an even amount in each circle. Though it's not really even because I don't, my stitches, I didn't do the math beforehand. So I have 23 on one side and 24 on the other side, but I'm sure one stitch will not make much of a difference. And I think I have six slip stitches in the middle here. I turned it inside out to do the slip stitches because it does create this like little ridge here. And now I'm going to turn it right side out again, if I can. So cute. I hope it is cute anyway, it's hard to tell. Now I'll just continue to go around and around here until I decrease and fast enough and then we'll add on and swirl around there. <laughs> 
gone up this far with the right ear and now I'm gonna start decreasing. I think I'm gonna do three single crochet decrease because I don't really know what to do with three is my favorite number. Ah, look, it's so cute. I love when things work out. So I finished my first ear. As I said, I did three single crochet decrease. Then the next round, I did two single crochet decrease. Then one single <laughs> one single crochet decrease and then decrease around. It's not gonna be perfect because my stitches weren't perfect. Like I didn't count things, but um, I slip stitched and fastened off and now I'm just gonna sew this in. And then instead of doing the next ear right away, I'm going to make the eyes. So I'm gonna do the star and heart thing and then I'm gonna do the little black eyes. So the heart's gonna be, I think, this color I picked out. And then I don't really have a good blue. I'm thinking this blue. That is so freaking adorable. So I just looked up tutorials for these on YouTube. I used my 3.75 millimeter Hook. I think they turned out really well, like size-wise. And they're super cute. And then for the opposite side, I'm gonna be doing little black eyes. So what I did for the black eye is I just made a magic ring, single crochet, six inside of it. That's the first round. And then the second round is the exact same, just single crochet, six stitches around, no increasing, just so that we get a nice little bubble. It's so cute. And the reason I did these all before is because I think it'll be a lot easier to sew these in if I can access the inside of it as well. I put on the eyes and now I'm going to stuff it or at least this part of it. Is this actually as adorable as I'm thinking it is? So I'm getting insecure. <laughs> it's like the perfect size. I love it. In terms of the hat, I re-sewed it but it's a mess. It's very ridgy, very messy, very... I'm gonna unsew it and then try to sew it nicer again but this this works. This this is the way it was supposed to be sewn. I'm not sure what I was thinking before. All right, it's better now. Not the greatest, but better. I just switched to doing one strand instead of two and just tried to do it more neatly and <laughs> taking all that out was a lot. But anyway, time for the ears. I finished the ears. And once we put the ears on there, you're not gonna notice anything. Plus, don't worry, I will show you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll show you what I did to make these. So I very much just want it. So after studying this for a very, very long time, I realized the so first I thought this was how big it was and then it just got bigger here. But turns out it's put on like folded like this. To der See, looks like it, yes. So I had to remake my first one. But what I did was I cast it on seven 17. 17. I did the first two rows, not the rib stitch. Like I just did two knit stitches and then went into the rib stitch and then two knit stitches on the end and kept that pattern hoping that it would make, like this almost looked like it had a border to it, which mine doesn't really look like, but I think that's just cause my knitting's messy. I don't know. Put this out here so you can see. I did about this much and then I increased. And to increase, I increased one row and then came back again and increase again in the same spot because you need to keep up the one by one rib stitch pattern. I also increased down here if you can see and then I did this big huge chunk and then started decreasing. Same way as I decreased for the hat. The only thing is it's super messy on one side and a bit dimpled on one side. The dimple looks less messy so I finally realized at the end of my second ear if you decrease using a purl stitch the messy big lumpy thing this thing will be on the back. If I I'm going this way and I decrease using purl, this bump is on this side. If I'm going this way and I decrease using the knit, then the bump will be on the side facing you. And then I decreased again here, decrease again here, started really decreasing until I ran out of stitches. It's a bit more pointy than this one. Yeah, it's pointy. I kind of stopped looking at the picture after a while and just won it. I like mine better to be quite frank. Other than like the messiness, I'm obviously not a great knitter yet. So hopefully that's not too obvious. Just made some mess here, but I'm just gonna stitch that in, fix it. <laughs> also made it quite a bit longer because I think that would just look better. Now it's time to sew it on. Both sides meeting the middle like that and then sewn on just before this middle seam. Like so, oh my goodness, it looks so good. <laughs> I finished it, it's so cute. It's so much longer than, can you see? No, you cannot. I'll just turn around just a second. Uh -huh. If only my knitting was neater, this would be quite... The ears are huge, which means it's warmer. This is... <laughs> yeah, 
As per usual, the ends are not going to be woven in until the very last minute, probably. Now we are back again to our very last thing, the blankets. Oh yeah. And I, I thought that I couldn't do a chain in different colors. So I was like, oh, I'll start in black. So I did this like a, a while ago, but I didn't want the black. So then I looked it up and you can do chains in different colors. It's just going to be annoying. This is all I have left after doing the hat. And this was one of those huge, huge ones. So I was not expecting. You just chain like normal. So for this guy here, I need nine in I don't know where my hook is. This is gonna be so much more work, but hopefully it's worth it. So I need nine in purple to begin. So I chained eight because this last loop is gonna count. And then it's the same as color changing. You just use this to go through like this, which means this is gonna be very finicky, very annoying. And then you just like hold this as you chain the rest of it, which is oh so awkward. It'd be different if it was just like one or two color changes, but I'm gonna be changing color five, six times. <sighs> okay, this is all I've done so far. <laughs> Look how tangled that is. Why? Because I was like, oh, I'm ahead of schedule. I finished everything except for this blanket. Oh, I'll make this sweater vest that is gonna be super easy that I can finish in like freaking three days and then I'll come back to this. And guess what? It didn't take me only freaking three days and because I made so many mistakes and I'm still not done it, but I'm starting to get stressed out about this blanket, I think. I think that's what's wrong with me. <laughs> Something is wrong with me. <laughs> So I'm going to work hard on this blanket today to relieve some of my stress. But just looking at this big ball of that's how is this stress relieving in the slightest? This is also why I was putting it off because I freaking hate doing grid patterns. And as you can see, there are so many separate strings, so many separate colors. It is impossible for it not to get all tangled. I just need to hope that Geraldine really loves this. I really hope she does because if not, <sighs> all of this for what? For what? I just timed myself and this is what I completed within an hour. Just six rows. Where's the six rows? Like this much. Ah. And at this rate, I calculated the blanket's gonna take me like 30 hours. <laughs> Why did I do this? It'll be nice, right? It'll be, it'll be fine. What if it doesn't even look good? Oh my gosh. 17 days left. 16 days left. It's finally time for me to work on the second thingamajigger. I just duplicated this one and then I'll change stuff within. I think that'll be easier, hopefully. That's the last of the easy ones. The next ones I'll have to come up with myself. 14 days left. <laughs> We have 13 days left, it's time to do the next picture, but I don't even know who the next person is, and I don't know. I know Minji is blue, Danielle is yellow. Who's purple then? Who's left? Heying, Heying. I'm gonna test my new jeans knowledge right now. <laughs> Luckily, I saved this photo, and I believe this is an age and leader as well. Or is she the oldest anyway? Danielle is next. Ow. So since she has the big bright eyes, I'm just gonna do the exact same as Heying's and just add these little spots in them and change the hair. I'm oh, so happy, this one only took like 10 minutes and it was from scratch. Or not from scratch, I used the other thing, but like I didn't have the, the grid thing anymore to go off of, picture from the music video. But I just added these little things here. I made her eyes slightly bigger. I added a smile. She was gonna look bald because I didn't leave enough rose for hair <laughs> but i put her buns in anyway and then i added a little tiny bit of hair up top even though it should be further up but it's whatever it's a cat and i'm excited about using this bright yarn Yee. 12 days left 11 more days to go it's a honey time nine days left but jk because i just found out <laughs> gonna be giving her the gift a day early than her birthday, so actually eight days. <laughs> I'm so done with this. Oh, but look how nice it looks. Oh my gosh. It's all gonna be worth it. <sighs> we have seven days left, and you're probably thinking, that's fine, that's enough time, it's good, but have you forgotten that I have a bajillion ends to weave in? Ah. And not just on this, I still have the hat ends to weave in as well as the bag ends to weave in. Ernie thinks it's just on the inside. 
She wouldn't notice it right away. Also, I realized that I did two of the faces wrong. Henny's and Danielle, they both have like a piece of hair going like across as well. I really need to take like attention to detail off of my resume because I I don't know how I miss these things. If you watched my Taehyun sweater vest crochet video, you'll know what I'm talking about. I just can't. My brain just does not. It doesn't. I, I It doesn't. Anyway, I gotta get to work. And I just made a mess with all this freaking yarn. <sighs> I'm about to stitch the last stitch. I thought you might want to join me for this life-altering moment. <sighs> Oh, that feels so good. Oh my gosh. It's done. It's done. Minji. <laughs> that was so much work. So much work. And my very much least favorite part is yet to come. Look at all how so much. Let's just, let's just see. Let's just have a look-see here at what we're working with. <laughs> I got better as I went though. Look how like less I have to do on the last one. Wow. Oh my gosh, but it looks so good. Oh my gosh, was all this worth it? I think it was. Wow. Now I can start other projects. Cause I have five or six days left. Seven days left, is it seven days? As you well know, I'm going to stall, postpone, weaving these ends in as long as possible. I will probably do it the day before, but this is literally gonna take hours. Cause I'm always like, oh, no big deal. But then yeah, it takes, it's a big deal. <sighs> I'm so done with this. I hope Geraldine likes this. If so, that'll make this all worth it. Even, even tying in the ends, maybe. I won't go that far. I finally finished weaving in all the ends of everything with a few hours to spare, I might add. Three, three hours to spare. <laughs> now comes the real test, because we need to see if I can fit everything in here, which seems very unlikely. And we also have to get the album in there without squishing it. <sighs> I just, I don't think it's gonna happen. I'll see if I can like roll this up. Oh, it's so cute. Anyway, you're messing with the color pinky. Oh, also I didn't really show it, but like if you were wondering why the colors on my thing aren't as broad as what the, there's a squirrel outside. Hi. Aren't as um, wide as they are on my grid patterns. It's because somehow after this row, I lost so many stitches. So the rest are shorter, which means this is kind of like floppy wider than the rest. <laughs> it gets shorter as it goes. I was gonna say hopefully she won't see that but maybe she'll watch this so I'm just, shh. It's fine. Hold this like this like this and then we will roll it. Maybe these will all fit. You know, I have hope. That's not so bad. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh, it's stretching it. Should I not do it? But it's all soft, so like the hat is way fatter than I thought. Okay. Oh my gosh, but everything's fitting-ish. Uh, ta -da. Then I just realized I was gonna take pictures of everything, so I have to take it all out again. I'm just gonna be like, happy birthday. Adorable. Update. She loved them. I should have recorded her opening everything because she is decidedly the best gift receiver ever. There were screams. There were tears. There weren't tears. But happiness all around, so. 